members against Sarah Johnson. So how did prosecutors do? We want to know what you think. Let us know by logging on to CourtTV.com and casting your vote on today's 13th juror question. Did the prosecution present a convincing case? Woohoo! 90% of you say yes, well, 10% of you say no. Be sure to get your vote in. We'll be updating the results throughout the day. And remember, we will have a special report from the trial of Michael Jackson live from the California Courthouse at 2.30 Eastern Time. We'll be right back. Let's go in live. Dr. Beaver, an expert for the defense on the You're stand. doing a lot of things to be around that. Uh, another thing that you see is um, persons will often, because um, they're not so much dealing with um, the, the grief about the loss as it is, you know, we all like to feel that we have some way of controlling or having some predictability about horrific things that happen in our lives. Um, even when in some ways we don't have any control. So people the defense of Sarah Johnson has begun, and the first witness is Dr. And how this might affect trials, and they were pursuing death penalty. This is the woman who drowned five babies that I thoroughly. Harris, he is charged with kidnapping as well. This testimony that Michael Skaga said, I'm going to get away with murder. I'm a Kennedy. You wouldn't let your children sleep alone with Michael Jackson. Where do we decide? This is a death case, and this is a straight murder. Good evening. I'm Lisa Bloom in for Catherine Cryer. Closing arguments in the Robert Blake trial are under.